Saturday night. Adrian Eames reports. Derry's final loss to Bray last week was one of the more bizarre results of the season. Well, that's loose from Drada, gifting possession to Rory Patterson. McDermott making an advance run. Kane is there to tidy up, but Conor McDermott nips in to score. Three minutes on the clock. And Conor McDermott gives Derry the lead. Here's Darren Cole. Looking for Barry McNamee, who does well to fend off Richie Purdy, helped on by Rory Patterson. This is Conor McDermott getting forward. Conor Kane trying to get back into the middle, and Curtis is there. Brilliant goal for Derry, set up by Conor McDermott and finished off by Ronan Curtis. Purdy. 1 2 with Stephen Elliott in on goal. Oh, that's a great challenge from Darren Cole. Had to time that one to perfection. Low. Well, let's take a look at it once again. Old school defending from Darren Cole. Dean Jarvis slides it forward for Ben Doherty. Ronan Curtis to his left. Curtis makes a really clever run. He's in on goal. McGuinness makes the save. Great goalkeeping from the Drada netminder. Here's Ryan McAvoy. Connor Kane. Wickstead to deliver the cross, it took a deflection. It'll run here for Sean Brennan. Brennan on the turn, and that's a smart save from Jared Doherty. Dean Jarvis away from McAvoy and away from Wickstead. Ben Doherty, with DC committed himself into the challenge. Doherty, Curtis makes the run, difficult angle. Keeper got something on it, corner kick. Drogheda win possession back. They've lost their last seven matches without a win since last April. It's been a difficult season. Elliott with the header. And Ger Doherty makes the save. Wickstead tried to follow up. Hacked away by Ben Doherty. Nicky Lowe goes sliding in. Well, that was a quality save from Ger Doherty. Lowe with the free kick. Hangs it up towards the back post. Harry Monon and Stephen McGuinness once again to the rescue for Drogheda. Curtis to send it back in. Ah, McGuinness is there once again. He's had a terrific game in goals for Drogheda. Sean Brennan. Back to Lloyd Buckley. Oh, that's loose. Straight to Barry McNamee. That's support from Curtis McNamee for three. Off the post. Oh, so unfortunate for Terry. A real let off though for Drogheda. Sean Brennan with the free kick. Ball runs loose. Mark Doyle is there. Well, it's late, late in the day. It's a mere consolation for Drogheda, but Mark Doyle on hand to score. Uh, the referee calls time on this match, and time is up for Drogheda United. They make the drop. A tough night for Pete Mann, one of the great servants of the league. Drogheda relegated. Derry City 2, Drogheda United 1. I'm hopeful that, you know, people will see now that it's the start of probably the fourth or fifth part of this season where we're opening up a new uh, avenue to the last five games and that's one of them and we try to win every game as we play it. And it really is amazing the difference one win can make. Derry City looking more secure now in that fourth position and with the Rovers losing to Pats, they close to within a point of the hoop. Spray Wanderers are not out of that race for Europe just yet. At the bottom, Drogheda United are relegated as to who will join them in the first division next season from Finn Harps, Sligo, Galway United and St. Pats remains to be seen. But Drogheda are down and we got some reaction to their demotion after the game on Friday. 2-0 down after 14 minutes tonight. He's playing the same system every 4-5-1, it's not working. Uh, I don't know, it's just it's just depressing. Home crowds are down, uh, people aren't going, they would have went for years. So uh, it's all doom and gloom, unfortunately, so not much to share for. We were capable of beating any team around us at the start of the season. We didn't think that this was going to go on, you know what I mean? No, you know what I mean? It's just bad at the moment, just terrible. It's not good being relegated tonight. Sort of four games to go. I was hoping at the beginning of the season it would come down to our last three. We compete in the first round of games and it seemed to go downhill from there. I'm disappointed for, obviously, for uh, Drogheda, who've been relegated, but, you know, 
they're trying to do it the right way and they're bringing a lot of young players through. The club knew it was a big ass from the start. They, they got promoted with a um, really young side and to be fair, give, a, give them the chance to come into the Premier with a couple of players and uh, try their best to, to obviously stay up. It was a massive ask. I'm obviously disappointed for a lot of people, uh, the players who put so much time and effort into it, the supporters who uh, have been a bit disillusioned this year, uh, the directors of the club obviously, and uh, from myself and the staff, it's not. It's the second time it's happened to me and it's, it's not very nice, uh, but look, we have to deal with it. Um, there's no use, uh, there's, no, there's no sympathy in this game, we have to dust ourselves down and try and um, promote the young players that we have in the club and bring them into the team now moving on and see what happens in the first division. Um, it's not going to be any picnic either. It's going to be a difficult uh, year next year as well. So, look, we take it on the chin and we move on. Yeah, so draw 